Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of October. So if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, they are a beauty subscription service. They do have three different box types. So they have the monthly Ipsy Glam Bag. They have the monthly Glam Bag Plus, which is the bag that I have right here. And they also have the seasonal Glam Bag X, which is an upgrade to either your monthly Glam Bag or your monthly Glam Bag Plus. I totally drew a blank there for a second. This box, they did just recently raise up their prices, unfortunately, for the month of October. So this box used to be $25 for five full-size items plus a drawstring makeup bag, but it is now $28 for the same amount of products. As usual, the prices are always increasing. I will have all the information down below for all three of their subscriptions as well as a referral code in case you are interested. And if you love subscription boxes like I do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get into this bag. So here is what the bag looks like for the month of October. It is very similar to their Ipsy Glam bags for just their smallest subscription. And then it has just these little neon green pull tabs. The drawstring bags are cute in concept. I don't really have too much of a use for these after I get them. They just sit in a drawer at the moment. But in terms of this overall design, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but I'm sure there are going to be some people who love it. And then the theme this month to go right along with the bag is Pretty Wicked. And then with your Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, they do not include information on this one, just because the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is so customizable, which I think is one of the benefits to having this subscription. So you do get five items each month, but out of the five, you do get to customize three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the items that Ipsy chose for me this month. So the first item that they chose for me is from the brand Wander Beauty. And this is their Staycation Hydrate Hydrating Mask. So this is 60 milliliters. And let's see what it looks like. So here is the packaging. It's a very nice, just pale pink color. So this is a mask that's a three-in-one mask with a moisturizer and skin treatment in one it's a powerful combination of peptide and ceramide that helps to improve skin texture and prevent moisture loss for long lasting hydration cranberry seed oil delivers potent antioxidant benefits and diminishes the appearance of fine lines to help improve dull looking skin so use this as a mask you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you rinse it off or if you want to use this as a moisturizer, you just use a pea-sized amount and massage onto skin, leave on overnight, and wake up with, to revitalize and nourish skin. So I do like that this is a two-in-one type of mask, so you can choose how it works best for you. I feel like because I have oily skin, I'm not in much of need of something hydrating, but I will still have to give this a try. And then the next item that they chose for me is from the brand Dermalect, and this is their Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. And here is the packaging here. So this is a potent yet gentle anti-aging serum combining three active forms of amino acids. So it's an overnight treatment that effectively revitalizes dull looking skin, focuses on fine lines, wrinkling, and large pores, great for age spots and uneven skin tone, multitasking facial. Hmm, okay. So I feel like they gave me kind of two similar products where they're kind of items that you can leave on overnight that help with fine lines and wrinkles. I do like that this one helps with pores, so that's going to be bonus points for this one. But here is the packaging here. It comes in a glass bottle, and this is obviously going to be the dropper type. So it just says apply on cleansed skin and allow for the serum to absorb, no need to wash off. So I will have to give this a try. I just feel like the only thing that's really drawing me towards it right now is going to be the fact that it helps with pores. So now I can get into my three choice items. So Ipsy on the second of each month is going to show you some options where you get to choose one item from each category. So for category one, I had six different items that I could choose from and they were a lip gloss from Rena Beauty, an eye repair from This Works, a Play Pot and Gold Touch from Jekka Black, a, another lip gloss from About Face, a brush set from MOTD Cosmetics or from Aricella Beauty, an eyeliner duo and a sharpener. So looking at these choices, if you've watched my channel before, you know I do not wear eyeliner. Not too concerned about eye repair yet. 
Lip gloss is not really my thing. So I kind of just picked something for this category. I have a Jekko Black Play Pot from a Boxy Charm subscription. And then I have a ton of brushes. So I decided to go with one of the lip glosses. And I just went with the one from About Face. So this is their Light Lock Lip Gloss in the shade Angel on Fire. So this is a buttery, glossy lip oil, fades lips in pearly color and moisture. Coconut oil softens and protects, while skin smoothers create a see-through glass shine with lasting power. Interesting. The packaging is very pretty on this though, I will say that. It is very similar to the About Face highlighter that I got in my Glam Bag X previously. And then here is the applicator. And then here is what the gloss looks like. It is a very pretty shade, I will give it that. So hopefully it'll end up being a good choice. It does have a little bit of a scent to it, I can't exactly pick up on what it is. It almost feels or smells a little bit minty. I could totally be wrong, but I feel like I like this shade a little bit more than I thought I would. I'm hoping it's not a super sticky gloss because that's kind of where I draw the line, but I will have to put this to the test. For my second choice item, there were four different items that I could choose from, and they were from Aristella Beauty, a brow pencil from Mazi or Maisie, the Balancing Multi-Effect Cleanser, from Rowan Beauty, a cake mascara in black, or from 111 Skin, there was a recovery cream. And again, for this selection, I wasn't super blown away by anything. I do have a ton of brow products. I don't really need any mascara. The 111 Skin Care product was, I think, worth $280, but I didn't want to go for something just because of the price tag, and I don't use creams too often. So I decided to go with the item from Maisie or Mozzie Beauty, and it is clean beauty, so there's bonus points for that. The box is a little bit beat up, but it made it. That's all that counts. This is their Balancing Multi-Effects Facial Cleanser. So here is what the packaging looks like. So it just says moisten hands and face with warm water, basically massages over your entire face, and then rinse thoroughly. Okay, redefine your balance with antioxidants that defend against free radical damage. It says it reduces fatigue, aging, stress, and toxics. Interesting. Okay, so we will have to give this a try, but here is what the packaging looks like. I've never heard of this brand before, but this has rose hip seed oil, citric acid, red seaweed extract, and geranium flower oil. I'm hoping this isn't super florally scented because I just cannot gravitate towards things that are heavily scented that way. But it does say it is going to help balance your skin, so maybe this would be something that is good for me. And then for my third choice item, there were four different items that I could choose from, and they were from Context Skin, a keratin recovery treatment, from Love Craft and Beauty, an eye brush set, from Go To Skin Care, the Removalist, and then from Illamasqua, there was a Beyond Liquid Highlighter. So again, Ipsy kind of sent me some choices that I wasn't too crazy about. Again, they gave me a second option for brushes, which I don't know why they would do that. Then there was something for keratin treatments, but I do not have keratin treated hair, so I do not need that. Liquid highlighters are not really my thing. So I did decide to go with the item from GoTo, and this is from GoTo Skincare. It's the Removalist. So this is a detoxifying clay mask for a complete clean out. And I feel like this out of all of my choice items for all three categories, this product is probably going to be my favorite. So this does say, this is for all skin types, particularly oily, congested, and acne prone skin. Bonus points for that. It will reset your complexion by drawing out impurities and excess oil and purifying the pores, leaving the skin calm, clear, and radiant without so much as a sniff of tightness. Let me see what else it says. Do this. So you cleanse your face, apply a generous layer to dry skin, and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Gently remove with a cloth and warm water. Follow on with serums, oils, and creams. Or a hydrating mask for a mini facial. And use this one to two times per week. So definitely excited about this. I feel like their packaging is so cute. Here is what it looks like. So I will have to put this to the test, but I feel like this is going to be a really good product and I love that it is 100% geared toward my skin type because 
that is definitely important in a subscription box with choices. So that is going to bring me to the end of this unboxing. And if I'm being 100% honest, this month was not my favorite at all. I feel like usually with the plus, I like a lot of the choice items and I actually have a hard time choosing which item I want because I like so many options. But this time it was the opposite. I had a hard time choosing because there wasn't really anything that I was super crazy about. Especially with the price increase, I am a little bit disappointed this month. I did actually try to pause my subscription, but it said if I pause my subscription, it would cause some issues with next month with the Glam Bag X that is going to be curated by Huda Beauty. So in all honesty, I stuck around just so I can get the Glam Bag X next month. But I'm hoping that these products are going to end up being good ones. If you've tried any of them before, go ahead and let me know your thoughts and how they worked for you. And I would love to know your opinion overall on the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus that I just unboxed or just Ipsy in general. Please leave all of your thoughts down below. I would love to know what you have to say. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.